All this week, we've been checking in with counselors in the Portland Public School District, talking about the state of mental health in their schools. Tonight, we're looking at our next door neighbor here in the Goose Hollow neighborhood near downtown. It's Lincoln High School. Christine Pitawanich has our story. It's definitely hard going back into social situations after being in lockdown. The last few years have been rough on so many people, including 18-year-old Bodhi Suncloud. The amount of depression and anxiety that has um, kind of formed in our community because of COVID. It was very difficult coming back to school. Suncloud isn't alone in feeling that way. I'm still seeing a large number of students with anxiety and depression. A lot of people have lost people in the pandemic and there's been a lot of economic hardship for families. Jason Breaker is a school counselor at Lincoln High School. At this level, he does a lot of paperwork, from college applications to letters of recommendation and reviewing transcripts. But he and his canine co-counselor are also busy spending time with students. Breaker and his buddy Baker doing their part to create connection. There's a social connectedness of students who may not have even known each other before, but with the dog at the center, students connect. He says last school year was hard. Last year I saw probably more severe mental health um, concerns, cr students in crisis than probably all of my years combined. According to Breaker, staff at Lincoln conducted over 30 suicide screenings. He says that's higher than a typical school year, but this year things are different. Our trajectory is below that this year of if I'm just using suicide risk assessments as, as one statistic. We're kind of riding the ship of, of students going back to a normalcy. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Still, students are dealing with a lot, both in and outside school walls. There are lots of homeless people like just down the street. Not only does it break her heart to see so many people in need around her downtown Portland High School, but SunCloud says the tents, trash, urine, and feces means she has to change up where she walks. Then there are the three instances of gun violence near a few other high schools this academic year, adding anxiety. Breaker says staff are trying to do what they can to promote wellness. We have a wellness fair where we have over 50 different sessions where students will have a block of time to be able to interact with everything from uh, baby goats to um, affinity groups. He says the school also has a partnership with a community mental health provider, which may help students get seen earlier than they would otherwise. The amount of support in the school is amazing, even though it does need to be worked on. In Southwest Portland, Christine Pitawanich, KGW News. And make sure to tune in tomorrow for the final installment of Christine's series. We'll talk with her about her takeaways and reporting on the topic of mental health in schools. We'll also feature some of your comments. In the meantime,